Never Stop Learning Week 316. We're going to take a quick look at how to export for screens using artboards in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so here I've got a document set up with four different artboards. If I hit Command Shift D, you can see that two of these artboards are going to have a transparent background. All right, Command Shift D is going to hide that. Now to export, you want to come over here to the top in the file menu. Scroll down to find export and then choose this option here. Export for screens. Clicking on that once is going to bring up the export for screens window. Now you can switch over to assets, which I'll cover in a separate video. I'll come back to artboards. Now currently I have the full document selected and we're controlling that over here on the right. All right, if you have the full document selected, it's gonna ignore the artboards, but it's gonna take care of anything that exists inside of this document. I'm gonna switch over to all, and notice all four of these artboards are checked and ready to be exported. So these will be exported as four different files. Over here on the right, notice our range is set to one through four. Well, if I uncheck a couple of these, that range is gonna be updated. All right, I'll switch back over to all. Next, we have export to. All right, if you click on this icon over here, that's gonna allow you to choose your new destination folder. All right, I'm gonna leave mine set to export on my desktop. All right, the next option here says open location after export. Notice mine's already checked. If I come over here and uncheck this, after our export, you're not gonna see anything change. But if I come over here and check this box, after my export, I'm gonna see the actual files that I've created. All right, so over here for formats, notice you have a couple of preset options here. So if you're working in the iOS world, click on this and it's gonna show you some presets that are gonna work for your workflow. Over here for Android, when I click on that, it's gonna give you a different set of presets. All right, I'm actually gonna get rid of these. And we're gonna start looking at this at the basic level. All right, next to Android, there's this little gear wheel here. This is the advanced settings for exported file types. When you click on that, this is where you could choose the different options for your particular format. Over here, I'm using PNG 24. Background color is currently set to black, but you can switch over to transparent or white. All right, I'm gonna leave it set to black. Hit save settings. All right, currently over here for format. Under scale, it shows that our first setting is set to multiplied by one, which means that these will export at 100%. Over here, you could add a suffix to kind of describe the type of export you're doing. Next, we have format, and I'm gonna leave it set to PNG, which is PNG 24. If you click on add scale, it's gonna allow you to create a new export. All right, so if you look at this, it's showing us that we're gonna export the next one at 200%. It even gives us a new suffix so we could know what we're actually looking at. And over here we have the format of PNG. I'm gonna click add scale again. And this time I'm actually gonna choose uh, times 0.5. All right, so this is gonna bring it down to half the size. All right, we could also switch the formats, which is one of the great things about working with export for screens. I'm gonna switch over to a large JPEG. Over here for this one, I'm gonna go with SVG. Let's add a new scale, and for the last one, I'll go with PDF. Now I just chose those at random just to show you that you could have some different options to work with. Down over here at the bottom, if you hit clear selection, it's gonna uncheck everything for you. So let's go back with all. And then down over here at the bottom, we have prefix. So this is gonna allow you to add something at the beginning of the name. So this is my star logo. I'm gonna type in star logo. All right, that looks great. Now I'm gonna click export artboards. All right, just a couple seconds later, we end up with all of these exported files. Now, one thing I want you to notice is check out the name. It says star logo, artboard one, artboard two, artboard three. That doesn't really help me out. So let's get rid of all these. Command delete. I'll go back over here, file, export, export for screens. All right, what I need to do is come over here and make some changes to these names. Instead of artboard one, I'll go blue background, yellow star. All right, over here, I'm gonna go with no background, 
yellow star. All right, so you're starting to get the idea, right? Over here, no background, blue star. That looks great. Now this last one is gonna be a yellow background with a blue star. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna export. A couple seconds later, I end up with all these cool files and now I actually know what I'm looking at. All right, so let me delete these guys one more time to show you one other thing I ran into. I'm gonna go into the file menu at the top, export, export for screens. All right, I just wanna work with these two in the middle. These have a transparent background. All right, let's jump over here on the right in the advanced settings. Currently, I'm working with a PNG. I have the background color set to black. All right, now if I go to PNG 8, I'm gonna tell it to make sure all of them are set to black as well. You could actually switch over to white or you could choose a different color in here. All right, I'm gonna go back into this uh, drop down menu and choose black, then save settings. All right, so I should have a black background for these two files. Let's see what I actually get. Let's get rid of these guys. PNG, and I wanna do a PNG 8 to show you the difference. All right, I'm gonna choose export artboards. And now we have our four files set up. But there's a little bit of a problem here. All right, I'm gonna highlight one and show you the preview. This actually looks great. This is my PNG 8, and I have the black background just as expected. If I switch over to the PNG 24, that does not have the black background in there that I selected. I'm not actually sure why this is happening. It could just be something that's wrong with my system. Uh, so I'm gonna take a look at it, but I did wanna mention it in case you run into the same situation. So there you have it folks, that's a quick look at export for screens when you're using artboards in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.